Okay, welcome to a new video. Um, today I have been given some Ohuhu fineliner pens, which I'm really excited to try. Um, I've always wanted to try out their liner pens just because um, the only things I've tried with theirs so far are the alcohol markers and I've been curious how these would work. I've been given three sets to try out today, the black liquid fineliner pens, these ones that I believe are white, silver and gold gel pens, and then the ones I'm most excited about are these coloured ones, um, there's quite a few colours that I am so excited to try out because if you've followed me for a while I think you might know by now that um, I prefer coloured line art over black, that doesn't mean I won't use black line art, it just means that um, if I can, I'd, I'd prefer to use coloured, but let's give this a look. Um, I'll be testing these out first off in the back of my sketchbook, and then I've already done some planning on my computer for what I actually want to do for this spread, just because I was like, I need to go in with a plan for this one, because initially I had no idea what I wanted to do, but then I got an idea that I was like, I need to plan this out just in case it doesn't work. Um, so I'll just test these out here. So these ones are called liquid fine liner, which I am curious what that is about. And you can see the sizing here. It goes from really small from 003 up to an, an eight and a B. I think the B is a brush pen. So I'm just gonna quickly test these out in the back. Oh wow, that is such a small nib. Like you can't even see it. Look at that, that's tiny. Oh my lord! Okay, let's see what that looks like. So this one is the 003. Wow. That's tiny. That's amazing for fine details. Oh, did I just break it? No, okay. That's my only concern with pen nibs that small is I'm like, I'm definitely gonna break that at some point. That is really nice. I like having thicker lines, especially when outlining my pieces, so that one's really nice. Then this one I believe is a brush. Yes, that's really cute. Ooh. That's nice. Right, and so the coloured ones, they do actually come with some black ones as well, which I might swatch, I haven't decided yet, just because We've been given the other black ones, so it's kind of like I might not use these ones today. So that's all the colour ones. That's quite nice actually. I will say I think they were a bit lighter than I was expecting with some of them, like that green one in particular, I think, but these are really nice. I really like them. Um, I'm really excited to try out my idea with them. And now let's try the gel ones. If this one's white, then I really shouldn't see much, I don't think. Um, let me... Hmm. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's hard to see, but there it is there. It is coming out white, um, which is nice because you can never have too many white pens. Right, let's try out the silver. Ooh. It's hard to see again because of my camera, but that is, it has got a shine to it, which is nice. So that means this one probably is gold. Yeah, that's really nice. I don't usually use metallic pens that often, but I do think it's nice to have them available. I don't know if I'll be using them today. My plan is 
um, because I was told that these pens work really well with the alcohol markers. So my plan is to do a piece that uses both of them. So I kind of want to, I've got an idea of what I want to draw, which I will show you the process for in a second. And then I want to do, I want to test how well these work as an underline art and then use the pens over them and then either go over the top of them again with the black pens or just the coloured ones again. So yeah, that's what my plan is. Um, I'll show you the process for my planning now um, and then we'll just jump straight into my sketchbook with the sketching. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm planning out on my computer what I wanted to do um, and I thought it would be easier by starting with laying out the rainbow colours um, I then realised this didn't actually help so instead I kind of drew a sort of what my sketchbook looks like and then just put the blobs on the page to get a rough idea of what spaces they would fill. Then I just went and drew the characters in their correlating colours, trying to fill up the areas that I'd kind of allotted for them. And I kind of, I wanted to try and have them interacting a little bit because I Honestly, I had no idea what poses I wanted to do, which is another reason why I wanted to plan it out first, because in the past I don't usually plan things out that well, and um, yeah, they don't always, you know, it shows that I haven't planned it out, but anyway, so I struggled with Robin and Brooke for a little bit, just because they were the last two characters and they had to fill the space left over, and Initially I was just going to have them standing there and it looked really bad and not dynamic, especially compared to the other characters, but I did end up with poses that I liked, but unfortunately, because of how I chose to do them, I guess, um, Brooke, I don't, like, the planning as well, he's going to be going off the page and this does happen when I put him in the book as well, it just doesn't fit so well, but um, yeah, anyway, so I went in and decided to figure out exactly what I wanted the line art to be just because if I've done this much planning I might as well. So now it's time to use that planning to start sketching in my book. Um, using coloured pencils because I've explained before they just work better when it comes to colouring media they just disappear into the media very easily. Yeah I also find that when using graphite pencil it can dirty up whatever you put over the top of it so that's another reason why I like using coloured pencil and it also keeps my mind in a place of keep it colourful so that's what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah for this video I decided to do something One Piece inspired, as you've probably guessed by now, you can see it. One Piece has been on my mind a lot recently since the live action version of it came out not that long ago, and I gave it a chance even though initially I was going to avoid it because in my experience live action versions never turn out that good but I gave it a chance and I actually really loved it despite everything I thought going into it, it was really good and it has kicked me off on another, another One Piece um, binge, I guess. I've been watching the films and the anime and reading the manga again and yeah, so it's been on my mind a lot and for this video I thought it would be perfect because whether or not it was intentional, I feel each of the crew members have kind of got a colour assigned to them and because I was so excited to use the coloured line art pens, I thought this would be the perfect place to do it, to do, do this rainbow spread with each of the character, characters having one colour for them. So yeah, uh, that's why I did that for the um, digital planning with having each of the characters with one colour, because what I plan to do is after I've got the sketching done, I am going to go over, go over it with um, the ink pens, um, also because then this is a good test to see how they work with the Ohuhu pens, like I was told they they should work, um, that you can see if the ink going over the top of them smudges them or not, but um, each character is going to have one colour for them, so 
um, I don't know how to explain this. So, say Luffy um, is red, so he's going to have the red line art pen, and then all of the Ohuhu alcohol markers will also be in shades of red, just to try and keep it a little bit more cohesive. I say that all the time, but I do genuinely mean it. I want each character to be one specific colour. So despite all my planning, I did run into problems just because this usually happens when when I get to drawing things. Um, I'm not very good at feeling the space, I guess. They don't always fit how I intend or they are bigger than they were meant to be. And I had this problem with both Sanji and Zoro. Sanji I managed to just manipulate to fit the space, but Zoro I had to draw a couple times. I think I drew him like three times, roughly in the end. Um, I also decided to keep the style of these drawings very simple, just because I really liked how it looked in the digital planning. And because I was doing the whole crew, I thought it would just be a little easier for me to do this more fun, relaxed style that I have recently started doing. Also because of the whole idea I was going for, I thought this style would suit it better than if I tried to go more realistic. So none of them have noses. Well, that's a lie actually. Usopp and Chopper have noses just because it's like more part of their character than everyone else's. But, um, oh, I just realized that's why Brooke looks so weird because he's a skull. He maybe I should add a nose. You'll you'll see when I get to drawing him, but because he doesn't have a nose hole or whatever, I was wondering why he looked so strange. But yeah, none of them have noses, <laughs> um, and I like it. I think it's cute. Um, oh, when it came to drawing all the hands underneath Robin, because of her power, I wanted to do something that showed it, also to make her pose a bit more interesting, but then obviously it means I have to draw all those hands, so I'm not entirely sure all of them make sense, um, but I just had to keep drawing them again and again, and it was a little tiring trying to figure out how to make them different, so there were a lot of repeats and just random blobs in there. On to line art, I have to, or well, I don't have to, but I like to rub out the sketching just because it can, it makes it easier when it comes to actually doing line art for things, just because you then don't get confused by the dark lines already there and sometimes you get pencils where ink just doesn't sit on them very well either because they are a little waxy or I don't know they just don't go well together but um, I decided to start with Chopper just because he is at the front so if uh, I thought it would be better to work from the front to the back because otherwise uh, knowing me I'd make a mistake where I'd accidentally draw something that isn't supposed to be on show because someone else is meant to be covering it. So yeah, I started with him and the pink was really nice. It was a really nice dark kind of magenta, um, which is good because for a lot of these I was concerned that this might not work if the colours are too light. And I had that problem a little bit with... Um, Sanji and Zoro again. I thought I'd have the problem with Frankie too, but his actually turned out really nice, I think. Because bearing in mind I'm going to colour these later, there are sometimes going to be colours that are perhaps very similar to the line art, and so that was something I had to take into consideration, um, which made it a lot more difficult because even though there are a lot of colours in the alcohol marker set, sometimes it's still very similar so not enough if that makes sense I don't think that does make sense but um, yeah so I wanted to not go too crazy when it came to coloring things with the pen I wanted to dark have some places be a bit dark but for the most part leave it empty so that I could go in with the markers later but um, I really liked how it was looking adding the neck shadows, which is something you might have noticed that I like to do. And also just darkening up the outline of the images themselves just looked really nice in my opinion. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed this process way more than I was expecting because sometimes doing line art can be so tedious. But because I had left the sketch a little bit um, simple, it meant that I could go in and add a lot more detail to things 
that I wanted to add and these these um, coloured pens, the nib size is 0.5 which I think was actually perfect for this because it wasn't too big, it wasn't too small so I could get lots of details. Um, it did make it a little difficult if I wanted to colour slightly larger spaces in because then I'd have to spend a bit more time on it. But I think I prefer it being this size than if they were bigger because getting those little details I think is more important than colouring a larger space. And at the end of the day, these are line art pens, not colouring in pens, so <laughs> I think that's a good thing to bear in mind. Right, so when it came to colouring in Sanji, this is where um, I found the pen was a little too light. Um, and in, you might think while watching this that it is coming out quite dark, but I think that is only because it was picking up some of the pink coloured pencil that was still on the page because um, some of the places are actually quite light and I had to go over them multiple times. Um, and um, this did make it kind of difficult because it's the only yellow and I wanted him to be yellow. But um, I was kind of glad for the pencil being picked up by it because I think it's the only thing that really saved his line art. Um, this is no fault of the pens at all, this is the fault of me choosing to do this with them because I actually think having a nice yellow line art is, w will be really nice if you use it in a, in a better manner than what I've done. Um, and yeah, with Zorro's, as I was explaining when I was swatching out the pens, this is using the darker green pen that is more of a bluey green. And yeah, this one was also a little lighter than I had hoped it would be, um, which is fine, it worked out again, I just had to go over the lines a lot more than the other ones I felt. And then I, th I have to say, I think the purple line art was probably my favourite, just because it is a darker one, and I do actually really enjoy purple line art in general, um, it's one that I... I don't use that often, but I do use more than others, I think. So this is probably one that I'll be using a lot, but I think it just came out really nicely. It kept her looking defined. <laughs> um, and I was really tempted to go in and colour her hair in with it as well, but decided against it. I did smudge it a couple times with my hand that I'm very annoyed about, but um, I don't think it's that noticeable. Um, there is also something a little later that does bother me with this purple which I'm a little annoyed about um, and you'll see what I mean when I get to it, I'll, I'll explain it in detail but um, for now it, it, it works perfectly and I'm quite happy with it anyway. Yeah, so the blue line art that I used for Brooke I also really liked, again because it is another dark one. Um, it's also just a really nice like navy blue which again is another line art colour that I really love and gravitate towards so I was really happy with how that turned out and later on when I add the colours it just blends so nicely together I love how all the colours look um, so you'll see what I mean when we get to it but yeah I like how that turned out and I used it for the music notes as well because he is a musician so I didn't want to forget that um, and then Frankie's line art, it is a lighter blue, but for some reason there's just something about it that looks fine. Maybe because I used a fair bit of it more than, like, I did coloured in bits with his glasses as well. Maybe that's why it looks okay, but I just really like how the blue looks. Right, so now that the line art is done, it is on to properly colouring it in and seeing how they blend with alcohol markers. So I'm using this set that Ohuhu kindly sent me before. This one is the 200 marker set. So it's got a really lovely range of colours, which I'm hoping will help me out when it comes to my plan for these. Um, in the back of my book here, I am just swatching out what I want the base colour for each character to be. Um, so I just used the swatch sheets to give me an idea of like which ones looked well and then testing it out to see how they work on my paper because the swatch paper is different to my sketchbook paper so it is always a good idea to see how it will actually look on the paper you're using in the end. Um, and I'm glad I did because some of them turned out different to how I wanted so the red I used for Luffy was way too dark so then I swapped it out and it helped me find the one I wanted to use for Chopper and then the same with Nami and Usopp. Um, so then I just put my page protector in and I started just colouring in the entirety 
um, and yeah I was really impressed because there is no bleeding from the line art when I went over it um, because I was initially really scared I was like have I made a mistake because if these smudge the line art then I am screwed <laughs> because there is really no way to fix that but um, no I was really really happy and I was also really happy with the colours I chose because they went so well with the line art like the line art managed to stay really vibrant um, I was actually especially happy with Usopp's because I was really concerned that because his had gone more from a dark orange to a light brown um, I was concerned that I would accidentally make it too dull but his is one of my favourites in the end and I'm really happy with how it looks the brown line art is I like it way more than I expected I would. Um, Nami's I think I went a little too dark with the base colour, um, I think it works out in the end as well but it is very similar to the line art so I have to go over it a lot later. Similar with Sanji's again because of his yellow line art being quite light, even though I went for a light yellow um, wash or whatever you want to call it, um, it blended in quite a bit and then for Robin I I slowed it down so you can see in real time. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> when I get to the eye, even though it had a long time to dry, longer than some of the others actually, it smudged it. And it's not just the eye, it is a lot of the other line art too. For some reason, it just smudges the purple line art. And I don't understand because I gave them all a really long time to dry so I don't know why specifically the purple would be smudging but um, it happened in quite a few places with the hands as well so I had to try and be careful to avoid the lines as much as possible without leaving any white spots but um, yeah it, it was really the only time that I had a problem with that so the rest of the line art stayed the same it, it was fine but um, for whatever reason Robin's was just it, it upset me um, so I then went in with some darker tones or shades of the same colors so you can kind of probably see right now what the plan was because I don't know how to explain it and when I tried to explain it to my brother he got very confused but at this point you should probably be able to see um, and again it didn't smudge any of the line art except for Robins but that yeah that's fine um I didn't want to go too crazy with it so I tried to limit each character to just including the base to just three colors um because I wanted them to all look fairly muted because if I went too crazy I'd, I'd just get confused so um yeah I did some I usually I had the skin tone be the base, then I'd go in with a bit of a mid-tone and then a dark tone and they really didn't need any more than that. Um, Nami's I struggled with, I couldn't find another orange so I just layered up the the, the base tone again, I did that for the mid-tone so it is just the original tone, the original pen just layered over itself a couple times and then I went in with a dark orange that seemed to work. I planned on giving her a hair light, highlight for some reason but it just didn't look good and I then realised that because I hadn't done because I hadn't done it to the other characters it would look kind of weird to just do it to hers so I changed my mind and covered that up and I'm glad I did because I didn't actually like it. Um, so I did actually for Sanji's suit I decided to go more orange than I did yellow just because I didn't have enough yellow ones that wouldn't have blended into the line art so I thought a really light orange would probably work better um, and it does remove some of the fact that he's like the yellow character but um, it was a little too orange so I tried going over it with the yellow I used for the skin tone um, and I do think that dulled it down a little bit and made it a little more yellow so I think that did actually work out. So it was my plan from the beginning to probably go in at the end and add some more like black line art just to define define it a little bit more um, and at this point I was realising how important that actually was going to be because there were a couple points where I thought maybe I could get away with it and just leave it as the colours um, and I probably could have left it, it probably would have looked fine but it's all kind of 
samey and it is kind of hard to read all the details again nami and sanji i think suffer the most but so the others probably would have been fine but um it really needed some darker darker tones or just line art or whatever so yeah this is when i go in and do that i had actually planned it out on my computer first just because i was a little nervous so i will throw that up on the screen but i didn't want to fully line up art i didn't fully want to do the line art black um because i had done some of the colored line art i thought it might be nice to try and mix it so that i have both black and colored line art which is why i just decide to pick a few areas out just so that they either stand the characters stand out from other characters or where pieces of them cross over so adding just block shading that's more of a comic book style i guess um i also really like how i added the black to the neck shadows and i really liked on all of them i believe i did I added shading to the hair just to try and give it a little bit more dimension because even though it was the point they were all looking quite flat and I didn't want that <laughs> not to that extreme at least so yeah I really like how the hair on all of them turned out just giving them more texture and detail yeah I was really happy with this because it meant that I could fix how Nami was blending into the coins and how Sanji had almost no line art because the colour yellow was just blending into everything and taking on the colour of whatever was put on top of him. And then Frankie, who turned out to be my favourite. It, it's something about the blue, the shades of blue with the black just reminded me of something that I really can't put my finger on. Um, it might even be art that I've seen before I wish I could figure out what it is, but it's giving me vibes of something that I know I've liked in the past and I just really love how his whole look turned out. Brooke, yeah, he turned out all right as well. He was fun to add all the um, depth to because he is a skeleton and so he's got a lot, he's got a lot of holes in him and because his spine is on show, adding the shading to the inside of the jacket was really fun as well. Um, yeah, I really like how his ruffles turned out honestly and adding the black was really good for robin i think because i think having it have such a darker area on her means that you kind of overlook the smudging i then decided that i wanted to go in and add some highlights with both the white pen and the gold pen um, and it took a little bit to get the white pen going at first but when it did it was really good um, i'm really happy with these white pens because it's always handy to have white pens just to fix mistakes or add highlights and these are really nice juicy ones that I can see myself using a lot in the future. Um, so I added my signature sparkles to everything and on their cheeks um, and I put a special one on Zoro's bottle um, and then I also added some to Brooke's eyes but it looked pretty scary. Um, and I then wanted to go in and add a little bit of gold to everyone because I was looking at their designs and I realised that they could all have something gold on them and I thought it'd just be cute to have something small so that it doesn't um, draw too much away and it did take away a bit of the contrast with a few things um, and I also found that it kept running out um, I think it was because it didn't like going over the alcohol markers it kept like drying up and I had to keep scribbling on a separate piece of paper um, it also didn't come out as thick as the white one which was interesting but um, it definitely was shiny. I think i show you a bit later um, how shiny it is. I don't know which one will look good because I, I'm not sure if it will look good in the first place. <laughs> yeah. That worked. I thought you were going smaller than that, but that works. No. Now he looks like he's got, like... Glowing orb eyes. Again, though, the thing is when it... With the right angle, that gold... Was, oh, Lord. Oh, was that smudging? It's, I'd stop. It's a different colour. Let's see if it's just how the white reacts. Huh. Well, that looks fine there, but it was blue there. Oh, is it because it lifted some of... 
He's <gasps> No, because that's black. Wait, unless you're right. I don't know. All I can think is that three of them mixing or something. looks kind of goofy though. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I decided to go in and add the name of this collaboration as well. Um, just using the, sorry, my pet, my voice broke there and that sounded horrible. Um, yeah, and adding more sparkles, just using the coloured pens, just because I thought it would be cute to keep it going rainbow theme. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this page turned out. I was planning on try on doing something more with these pens. Um, I wanted to do another separate piece, but um, this actually took more out of me than I expected. Um, I think it's because I, I feel like I've been doing quite a few collaboration videos recently and this just took more of a toll on me than I expected. That's nothing to do with the quality of the pens. This is more just to do with me. But um, these pens were honestly really, really good. And I have been using them since. Um, I'm doing my October drawing challenge with them as well, just because they are, they're a really fun way to keep your picture looking vibrant. And I think having some of the black mixed in with it actually also keeps the keeps the image from being not not so dulled down. I don't know how to word what I'm trying to say. It's a good mix using both the coloured and the black line art is what is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, and here I'm just showing you how the gold is sparkly um, but I didn't put much on there so it might not be so easy to see. But yeah I really love how this turned out. It is a really nice bright colourful page. I think it is very obviously a rainbow spread and I'm just happy with how all the colours went together even though Brooke looks scary and <laughs> Robin's eye smudged. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I have noticed that the white pen, when you close this, the white pen does smudge a little bit. I think that's to be expected because it is a gel pen but um, there are little white marks that means. Um, but yeah otherwise I really love these pens and I'm excited to keep using them. So thank you so much Ohuhu for letting me try these out. And thank you guys for watching this far if you did. I want to say thank you to my Patreons. Dispy, Majin Pauly, Megan Palmer, Grim Clow, Non-Toxic, Saint Nix, LP, Parker and Kira May. Thank you guys so much for the constant support. And um, I should have another video out I think in November. Yeah, hopefully it's a good one. I don't know. <laughs> Have a good day.